Hi, I'm Eric, and this is Adventures in Golf. For this episode, we came to the one course in the world that has reciprocal rights to the old course at St. Andrews. Except this course is in a slightly different location, in the middle of the outback. So we've been driving for 10 hours and we're almost at our next golf course, which is actually in the middle of the Australian desert. Cougar PD is most famous for Opal, but the main reason we're coming is to play golf and hang out with people who live underground. Located in Southern Australia, the desert mining town of Cooper Pedy is known as the Opal capital of the world due to the high concentration of the gemstone here. Before the opal trade fell off, Cooper Pedy bustled with miners out to seek their own fortune. But now the town relies just as much on tourism, leaving the opal trade for larger mills that can manage the risk and reward easier. Oh, look at this, it's like an emu. Yeah, he's booking. There is nothing out here. This is just totally, totally like Mars. When you're a golfer, grass is very valuable, but that's the thing about this golf course is there's not a blade of grass on it. I guess my biggest question though is how did they get reciprocal rights to St. Andrews? 17 mile road, very similar to uh, Cooper Petey Golf Club. Whoop, whoop. This is the golf course. Look at that. This is insane. This looks pretty rad, actually, despite the heat and the sun and the dust. <laughs> Can we get up this hill? I guess this is the clubhouse. Hi. I'm Eric. Nice to meet you. Siobhan. Hey, Siobhan. Do you play golf? I do. Oh, cool. Actually, I'm the president of the club. You're the president. Ah, nice <laughs> to meet you. Very nice. Very nice. So you're here at the clubhouse. Okay, great. Um, oh, I see. And the end of this hole is where the keep off the grass sign was. I saw that. And tee off for number five is right next to it. I'm on my way to the fifth hole to meet up with the club captain, Stephen Beret. And to be honest, seeing the course in person is getting me super pumped to play this unusual style of golf. Dusty radio, par four, so cool. Great golf architects really believed that you're supposed to work with what you had. And like, this is a prime example of that. How you doing? Are you Steve? All right. Good to meet you. How are you? Eric, how are you? Good nice to meet you. This is great. Mind if I join you guys? All right, right in, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Steve, can yeah. I use your turf? Certainly. The course is a mixture of dirt and white sandstone, so players use squares of artificial grass to protect their clubs and to tee up the ball. I don't know if I can hit the ball right now, but... Hit the mat, where the we'll, ball go? Nelly? We'll find that somewhere. How's it going? I'm Eric. I'm Jake. What's up, Jake? Playing golf with your granddad? What yeah. yardage do you think it is? 150 meters. 150 meters. I don't know that in yards. That's right. <laughs> I don't either. Nice shot. Is this a hot day or is it kind of cool? Oh, this is just a mild, beautiful day. Mild. Yeah. Because yeah. it gets hot. Yeah. How hot does it get? Uh, 45. 45? Yep. In Fahrenheit, that's like 120? Yeah, yeah, off the scale, yeah. Off the scale. Yeah. So do you uh, live yeah, underground? Uh, I've got a dugout up on the hill over there. Completely underground. Yep. That's great. So 
So we rake it first. Yeah. Rake away from the hole. Right. And then rake the dirt back towards the hole. Do you know what the green speed is, approximately? They're all different, too. All They're different. They're not consistent. There you go. I mean, Thanks. you got to... Halfway, yeah. You got to whack it. You got to whack this there. one, yeah. There we go. Look at that. Still oh, couldn't get yeah, it there. Still right. Good putt. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> We're in for par. <laughs> Onward and upward to the eighth hole. <laughs> yeah. Which is our second to last hole because we're only going to play nine. Perfect. Yeah, nice. Can't do that two times in a row. Right, straight up the middle. That's all we want. But, uh, you know, golf is more about the lifestyle than the score. Right, Steven? That's right. Yep. All right. It'll be all right. What do you do with all the flies? Just shoo them away. Yeah. Shoo them away. Deal with them. This isn't bad yet. In the middle of summer, we, we're Fly nets over a head. Fly nets? Yeah. That's they get real bad, you just breathe through your teeth. You know? <laughs> so you don't swallow them. Too many people eat them. <laughs> this is a classic bunker shot? It's one big bunker. One. <laughs> <laughs> wow. When did the golf club start here, Stephen? We just had our 50th anniversary. 50th anniversary? Yeah. Hit the nice oh, shot, buddy. <laughs> Started off as a nine hole course. Uh -huh. Went for about probably eight years and okay. decided to extend it. They were like, we want more. Yeah. Too much grass. Took too, too much, much of a divot. Too <laughs> much grass. That's a big divot though, huh? Yeah. Just going for a walk? Yeah, just going for a walk. <laughs> Harsh climate. It's nice with other people. So what is this? Because it smells like asphalt. It's um Crush a dust with sump oil. Crush a dust with sun foil? Sun oil, engine sump, oil. Sump oil. Yeah. Old ah. engine oil, yeah. Ah, okay. Oh, Ooh. Blew it. <laughs> this is, these are like Augusta. Yes. All right. Oh, thank you, good game. Yeah. Appreciate it. Jake, good game, good playing with you. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, thank you, that was fun. To escape the scorching heat, many residents have chosen to build their homes underground, known throughout the area as dugouts. And after the round, Steve agreed to give me my first look at a dugout by taking me on a tour of his home. And right away, I felt the cool benefits of living underground. 15 degrees cooler right here. Right here, yeah. Wow. Go, that's the outside part under the... Okay, so this that's is outdoors, the... but this is this in is the mountain. The... Look at this. Yeah, this is under the hill. This is so cool. Yeah, kitchen, yeah, dining room, so yeah, it's just dug out of the, jackhammered out of the hill. So. This is so cool. <laughs> yeah, that's been tunneled out by a tunneling machine. Whoa. Around Bora. Turn another light on. Yeah, and then we got the bedrooms all underground, so it's all. Oh, that's great. Yeah. I like how it's all white. Did you paint it that? Or no, was no, it, that's how they did it. It was just the, like that. The rock here isn't a nice color, it's a gray, and, uh -huh. yeah, and they had to seal it stop the dust coming in, that's what ah. I have to do. How did Cooper PD Golf Club become uh, affiliated with St. Andrews? Oh, that, yeah, that was uh, quite a story, probably 25 years ago. I think it was a president or a captain from St. Andrews was traveling around, and he came out to look at the golf course, and they got talking with our captain, and they decided that if we gave them a lease on a mine, they would give us reciprocal rights. So they pegged a mine for them, but they had to mine it. Okay we can go over there and play on their course in winter. So if I joined Cooper PD Golf Club, would I then get to go play St. Andrews? Yep. That is so nuts. Like, yeah. how crazy is that? Well, yeah, the only course in the world with reciprocal rights to St. Andrews. And it's a little old Cooper PD. <laughs> so we're on our way to our hotel that is underground. Hey, how's it going? to get a few hours of shut-eye before heading back out to play round two at this magically weird course that is literally unlike anything I've ever seen. You gonna play golf? You mind if I join you? Yeah. All right. 
This is Brian from Western Australia, and he's agreed to pair up with me for a few holes this morning, emphasizing the thing I love most about these adventures, when complete strangers come together thanks to their incredible passion for this wonderful game. What's your favorite part about golf? Keeping up with the young folks. <laughs> trying to hit the ball as, as uh, far as they do and come in with a better score. Right. Ooh. Well, you're not messing around with that, eh? <laughs> nice ball, Brian. Right down the middle. Woo. I like that we're just playing on the dirt and no mats. Oh, I think it's... Feels more authentic. It does. Brings out the true grit. Easy as that. Thank you, Brian. Thank for you letting very me much. Join you. It's been a wonderful morning. Thank you very you much. You got great man. hair. Look at that. Got to have long hair. <laughs> well, another wonderful example of how golf, no matter where you play it, will introduce you to someone who you probably have something in common with. That's cool. We'll see you soon.